Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I thought uh, in light of uh, two things. Number one, recently, of just a couple of days ago, apparently it was National Dog Day, and I was only aware of this because my whole Facebook feed was just flooded with everybody's cute pictures of their adorable dogs, so I believe that was last Thursday. And uh, in light of that, coincidentally, I finally watched for the first time and really liked a sci-fi horror movie that I sadly didn't watch until recently for the first time called Man's Best Friend from 1993 starring Lance Henriksen and uh, one of the ladies from The Breakfast Club, not Molly Ringwald, the other one. She was the main character and Lance Henriksen was the other one. Basically, that movie was about a genetically engineered dog which is basically a living super weapon. It's hyper intelligent, hyper aggressive, and uh, is very, you know, like I said, very, very smart and super dangerous. And it's basically a big, scary mastiff. And I thought in light of both these things, it recently being National Dog Day and me finally watching Man's Best Friend for the first time, I thought wouldn't it be cool if we had another versus scenario as to who would win in a fight between the dog from Man's Best Friend, whose name was Max, and of course the dog with the same name as the title of the film, Cujo, based on the Stephen King novel in the same name. Cujo is about a big friendly St. Bernard who gets bitten by a bat, goes goes rabid and kills multiple people while ter terrorizing several others. And uh, it's a great read and a great watch. And Cujo is basically a large, regular St. Bernard who just goes batshit crazy and becomes hyper aggressive when he gets bitten by a bat, gets rabies and goes rabid. And so I thought, who would win in a fight between Cujo and Max from Man's Best Friend? Now, honestly, I enjoyed Man's Best Friend very much, but I enjoyed Cujo a lot more. And I'm a big Stephen King fan, which is probably why I like the book and the movie so much. But in a realistic scenario with Max being a little bit bigger than Cujo and uh, super intelligent and way more aggressive uh, because he's genetically modified, I would have to say in this fight scenario, I would see the winner being Max from Man's Best Friend, as much as it pains me to say it, because I love Cujo, and Cujo is big and scary and aggressive and could probably hold his own in a fight, whether he was rabid or regular, not rabid, I mean. But I would have to say between a fight, a fight between him and Max from Man's Best Friend, I'm going to have to go with Max, and it's simply because he would just have the physical edge and advantage over Cujo as a big, scary, genetically engineered dog that was designed to be a living, breathing, killing machine. And uh, Cujo is just a great big old St. Bernard with a lot of muscle on him, but, uh, you know... Even though he'd be fully rabid in this fight scenario, in this scenario, by the way, Cujo would be his scary, rabid version of himself, as we've seen in the film. Uh, I think uh, the fight would still go to Max from Man's Best Friend, as much as it pains me to say it. So what do you guys think, though? Who in this scenario do you think or would you like to think would win in a fight between Max and Cujo? Because it is a pretty awesome, scary sight to visualize and think about, about these two great, big, scary, ravenous dogs just going at it like two big lions on the African plains or something. Know what I mean? So I just wanted to throw that scenario out there. Thought it'd be a fun one for you guys to mull over and think about. Let me know what you think about who would win in this scenario down below in the comments section. And do you have any other versus scenarios you might want me to cover someday? Let me know down below in the comments section as well. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day and uh, you're staying cool and safe out there. And uh, of course, uh, if you're uh, down south in Louisiana, uh, please stay safe and uh, all our thoughts are with you as well. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.